What's up guys? This is the Rifle Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, uh, a small Austrian stack has wandered uh, within range of Hanover and we have an option to intercept it with the city garrison, which we will absolutely be doing because it will draw in um, pretty considerable Austrian forces and pretty good troops really. And then we will uh, destroy them before the gates of our glorious captured city. So let's destroy them. By the looks of it, it might bring in um, most of the Austrian troops in Hanover. So both the ones that are garrisoned in the industrial buildings to the northeast, as well as the ports to the northwest. So this is quite a quite a coup, really. Uh, and this is an hour special. So. Uh, we're going to have a few battles <laughs> in this episode. Well, I mean, right now we're on the end turn phase, so we're probably going to be on the defensive a lot of the time. Ooh, uh, ooh. They have breaches. Which is strange, because I've had this city for a while now. It's not a massive problem, because I do have... I have artillery. So it's probably best just to pick one and have them face that direction. My artillery, my howitzer is going to be deployed back here. Because we were facing that direction first. Although, although... I might, because we are, we are going to be attacked from multiple directions, I might put my howitzers in the centre. And then when I deploy my infantry... specifically try and pick hmm. I'm open to moving my formation around as it becomes clear where the enemy is going to be attacking but for now it's probably best I just do more uh, standard defensive stuff So let's do something like this to fill the walls up. That leaves us with quite a lot of cavalry. Oh, just there. Good. Let's turn the fire at will off for these units. Bring my general inside. And that gives us three units to do stuff with. Okay, so funnily enough, most of my well, I suppose sometimes they, they can they can only they only screw up doing fire at will like drills when there's no one to shoot at. So. Redraw your position, you men redraw your position. There we go. There we go. Even though the even though these guys might not even be in range, these are the guys I should attack. Oh my my, my gunners. So hopefully the general. Well, this is the interesting thing: is they're attacking from this direction, so they have to run all the way around the walls of my fort to get to the entrance. So the hope is, is that they get suitably gunned down before they even get to the uh, the centre. Might put this regiment of line into the command HQ just to provide a few more musket shots. Mm. 
So these guys need to get up. Get up front. Deploy into square. So we can knock out the initial waves. Six and friendly fire knocked out one of our own gunners. As long as the square holds, and these are engineers, so they they're better in close combat. And these guys can fire at will, so they'll get some shots into the enemy. And these guys that are pushing around around the front. Wait, look, what are these guys doing? You guys get into square, you guys fire it well off. Now the enemy is coming. I don't... why are you guys... You guys fire at will. Pour musketry down into the enemy. I hope we can knock out the light horse in good order. It might be necessary to beef up the right hand side because that's a lot of men. These guys can try and engage some enemy fly court. Your job is to try and keep dropping some quicklime on the entrance. In the entrance to the breach. So we're getting some good kills by through from these these troops. But they are swarming. These men have picked up the walls properly this time, so they can keep engaging the enemy cavalry. Should now halt. Wait for the marines to come in behind them. To be honest, just keep blasting it now. Blam! Marines down. Let's probably block this area off. The marines are coming in, they're trying to take down my command HQ. Okay, those guys can't really hit the units I want them to hit, so let's get them shooting at something a bit more useful. So do as much damage as possible while they're outside of the command HQ. charge them. I don't know why it's giving me the move sound. Okay, this isn't good. Having so many units tied up in fighting for the for a building, especially when they've got so many marines and grenadiers coming in. commit my cavalry to the action. Some of this infantry can get off the wall. I 
nice. My cuirassiers can go through the go through the slot here. My chasseur à cheval. Too bad the charge of my chasseur isn't going to go to plan because they're going to get caught up in the guards. The marines are going down, infantry are going down, grenadiers are going down. Okay, my heavy cavalry. God damn. Yeah, you guys chase down these guys. These guys have just collapsed. That's the Freikorps cavalry. Actually, no, let's get my cuirassiers out. I'd be mad to not take advantage of this. Because we're actually destroying units completely now. I mean, we are bringing in more men, but... To be honest, let's take advantage of the fact that we can destroy entire units of good quality infantry. Like this Hungarian Grenadiers, they're going to go down. Hit the Western European mercenaries. Although actually we better keep charging away from them. They are being engaged by the wall, so I don't want to uh, leave them exposed. Chased on that unit of marines because there's only four of them. Don't worry about the Freud Corps cavalry. Knock out the uh, European mercenaries first. If, yeah, go for the marines. Marines are always good to hit. Two marines left. Chomp. So now... You guys stop firing. This is the thing, as soon as they break away like that, I just want to go fine. I'll charge down some someone else. If you're going to leave me, leave me alone and let me have that opportunity, I'm going to take it. I'll hit the marines, that could bog us down a bit. That and this does this will resolve in or result in more uh, units joining the fight quicker. Okay, let's leave those marines alone, or at least get a good enough distance away that we can just form up another charge and destroy them. Yeah, my chasseurs a cheval should beat the Freikorps. attack them while they're right next to us but let's help this infantry unit destroy those marines I'll turn around and charge the marines again yeah those those mountain jaegers are going to rout let's just try getting the marines while we can looks like they don't want to fight so let's entice them in
marines have been taken care of. Could maybe chase down those mercenaries, but I don't really want to at the minute. You hit those marines. Okay, let's speed up time, because right now we are just positioning to try and entice the enemy to join us. So I'm going to limber up my howitzers. Bring my howitzers out to play. I mean, if they want to hang around and wait for my howitzers to get into position, that would be great, because then I get all my lovely quicklime. My cuirassier have knocked out those marines, so they can trot back here. Set up a new formation. Whoa, okay, hold on. Aha! So... You men run down that howitzer unit there. Our guns from the wall are doing some good damage against this massive block of men. That's the problem when the AI does stuff like this, is that it makes even not great artillery devastating. Let's speed up time, because right now, like I said, it's just my... Hoping my cavalry can get to their artillery before they can fire, and they have got to within range. So that's their 12 pounder howitzer unit. Not entirely annihilated. There was a mine. Oh god. That's where my reinforcements come in, is it? Run, General's bodyguard. Don't get involved in this. Okay, run straight towards us, because it looks like the Grenadier Guards are chasing us down. So my Marines are on attack ground. Quick Club should be landing in. Oh, yes. Question is, where are they where are their reinforcements gonna come in from if they get them? Because they aren't coming in over here, so it looks like that's all they've got left. There we go, they've realised, hang on a minute, if we stay here, we're all going to die! <laughs> yeah, the Grand Air Guards are being... They're still trying to charge down my general, which means they're running into my line without any... care or worries to their own personal safety. fleeing. Get my cuirassiers to hit the artillery at the rear. Keep my battlefield howitzers killing people on the map. Fire at will, you fellows. They're coming to kill you. Can I not kill them? I guess not. My howitzers focus fire them. Let's 
But you know, Swiss Grenadiers on the flank could be dangerous, but to be honest... Well, when I say dangerous, I mean they're going to kill some of my guys, because they are Swiss Grenadiers. But in the grand scheme... Yeah, chase down the Grenadier Guards first. These guys that were very useful can now stop firing, because they're... Go for the engineers because they're close to the edge of the map. Let's go for the marines actually. Mow down these engineers. Let's bring this, these guys over. hit the Swiss Grenadiers. Oh, there we go. We don't even get to chase them all down. Sad. Oh, well. That was quite a devastating loss for them. Oh, yes. That is incredibly devastating. Oh, no. Sorry, that's my guys. I was reading the wrong columns. We didn't lose many men. They lost a load of men. Dead. Dead. Those guys have been pushed the most dis annoying direction. The most annoying direction up towards Denmark. So Austria doesn't want to, or hasn't got the capacity to push against us the way they think they do. Spain is being Spain. <laughs> yes, yes, Benoit is this army, and he was already in range. So absolutely I want to do this. Oh. Yes! There we go, bridge battles are so good, especially when the AI seems determined to not want to use the bridge. Um, I can understand why, because the bridge is... is... it's smaller, so you have to pack your men more densely to cross it. Which means, in theory, that it's more... more men die. But the fall is so large that you can get some pretty good uh, fields of fire for lots of your units. Okay, so... Two units of infantry and two units of cavalry are going to hold the bridge. Uh, three. Three units of field artillery are going to be positioned here just to engage at whatever they leave. Artillery on the far bank and so on. Second regiment can I mean it's all misty so it's what's there so I'll oh, stay limbered up let's actually group these units together okay so let's drop two heavy howitzers here to drop quick climb directly onto the directly onto the crossing and then they've got one slightly offset and then put the cavalry put the cavalry over here as well really have focus fired them on okay right so these guns you guys need to okay this isn't gonna this is gonna be a bit okay good we got some quick climb hits unlimber right well off oh. Okay, we're, in ra we're within range of our own, of uh, some 24 pounder howitz of fire. Demi cannons, not the Mamelukes. Okay, no, actually, I think that might have been 
this unit. So get this unit to keep dropping shots. Not directly on that unit. Keep blasting, crossing the shrapnel shot. You guys are going to get hit by a whole bunch of friendly fire. These howitzers might be positioned a bit too close. It's too bad it's all foggy out. I'm gonna go get my guardsmen out of that formation. The early mist. Camels are gone. The desert warriors are here. I suppose the mist is only going to get worse as we start adding all our musket smoke to it. Back you go. But the next load crossing is crossing the river. Can't even see the enemy. I think there's some over in the trees. It's all obscured by smoke. Oh, the canister shot's coming in as well. The volley fire is hitting the block of men. There we go, they've had enough. Comes the Armenian archers. The field artillery is getting involved now. Oh man. comes the Nizam. Some Kurdish hillmen are hitting the flank of my position. It's not ideal. Is my artillery destroyed their artillery? No, there's their howitzer. Open fire. Okay, so my guards are going to pull back slightly. Another unit of Nizam wavering after trying to cross the river. Well, they have not lost many men at all, and they've been there routing. Don't worry, here comes the camels again. Let's look at this hero. He's going to ride his camel. He's going to stand to top. Ah. <laughs> oh. Finally caught up with him. Yeah, that's the end of those camels. But even more camels. Watch out, you men. Oh, they're firing it by ranks. They're aiming at infantry unit. That's perfect. Because they'll hit the camels because they're in the way. Devils. Gunners are firing. The Janissary is getting in close now. So the camels have done their work. But it's prevented the. Oh no. As I say, it's prevented my infantry from firing by rank into their infantry trying to cross the river. To be honest, my camel. My other company cavalry. Cross the bridge to attack the, the their artillery positions in the rear. Let's get my my big guns to focus on the focus on these Nizam rifles. These brave souls still trying to cross. Might make it to our line. Will they make it in time? Uh -oh, the guards are firing. Second rank, fire! Yeah, maybe that's enough of that. There are spikes, but they're facing that way, so if we charge from the left, we'll be fine. We destroyed the howitzers.
have more artillery deploy. There we go. Excellent. Heavens to Betsy. So this unit, keep going. Charge onwards, my general. There we go. Lots of them are caught up trying to make this, take this uh, corner. Let's see work after that. Work on that Nizam. To be honest, let's speed things up. Because of how these guys have hunkered down. Well, how, because how they've spread out, really. We could hit the we could hit the back of a a long line of troops, but the front, the forward end, still managed to get to the uh, get to the escape point. Yeah. Charge down those Nizam rifles. I said, charge them down. Slice and dice. Yes. That's the kind of battle we want to see. So then that army has been annihilated. Back you go. Oh, do you want some more? Looks like, okay, so Sweden's going to be the difficult one. I doubt they're going to let us get away with doing too much stuff. Unless they want to raid their way up to the front. In which case, good. Because it means that our cities have a chance to rebuild. Those guys aren't going to get too far if they try and think they can if they think they can flank around to the north. Hmm. Very well. Enemy sails. <sighs> God alive. You guys fall back. <laughs> We need... <laughs> the army just got pounded time and time and time again. Okay, so what we're going to do is focus on getting troops up towards Ardabil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So the raiding, they can do what they like. You guys are going to knock out that Austrian stack. Forward. March. So if you're on the bridge, you don't. Yeah, I better put Forward. you there, March. so they so they block this gap. Do replenishment. Replenish the Hanover garrison. So you join them. March. Chiefly in a defensive battle like this, you just want lots of infantry nearby. You're not overly bothered about other things. So you're still replenishing, you are replenished. Well, maybe you're nearly replenished. Um, hmm. When you're replenished, I think you're probably going to go south. Paris has nearly finished recruiting another army. But, 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 but. Sir. Okay, the garrison can come out to annihilate that small stack. Go back to Esfahan because they 
still don't really like it. So, oh, okay. I haven't actually built a church school yet here. Or maybe, oh no, I think I have, but it's just the priest is stopping it from, yeah, taking hold. Still, let's build two. You replenish, it looks like another one might come in for the same treatment. Although, to be honest, even though I've got all that cavalry, and that cavalry is lovely, I can't help feel like I'd rather have two more infantry. So you guys replenish, because you're going to be on your way towards Damascus. Baghdad is waiting for someone to try it. You guys push up to more towards northern Iraq. You're going to push around the Persians here. Your Majesty. You guys are also your guys. Let's be getting these guys to go straight for Yerevan. Ready and awaiting order. And get these guys to go straight for Tbilisi. These guys are all pretty Sorry. depleted, so I don't think we've got too much. They're fairly depleted. Victory! Yep, so they're scattering, so this lower army go finish Dabi Bola Sabah. Undaunted. Undefeated. Okay, so then you can push towards Dagestan when you're done. Theodore, keep chasing after this scallywag you keep replenishing and you're probably going to give you an order like go for Kazan it's going to take you a long time to get there everyone's still converging on the south Basra everything can repair Sir. you guys go join up with the reinforcing army to the south. Leopold Bellu. Let's recruit some more infantry for Leopold. Indian mercenaries take Indian mercenaries take eighteen turns. Eighteen turns across the continent's not bad. Yeah, Sweden, feel free to raid. Let's get some sloops recruited to more robustly cover northern Europe, northern European ports. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Okay, you could maybe cover this bridge to prevent them from striking towards Hanover. Actually, in which case, you guys can switch switch to get over to Berlin because you got you can cover that. Um, that this section of land and, and draw it into a river battle, which would be great. Can you... One more unit and that's your, your army done. This force here, still on the way to Finland. To be honest, I could just scout and see what I've see what they've got. Not much. Let's recruit some fifth rates to do a some port raiding and b. Actually, I'd probably do with just recruiting uh, a, a light galley. Occupy that port to prevent an attack from the north. Do a bit of economy upgrading. You 
go start to build a not a second tier navy but more of a if thirds and fourths I mean, if those guys fancy trying something then they are welcome to Let's do some more building so I don't think you know nothing in London can be upgraded anymore Aha! So you can leave. Pick up the sloop Acorn. Yes, sir. Heave away, so, boys. Heave away indeed. Off to Europe with ye. Any orders? Good. I think right now everywhere else is pretty darn secure. Okay, so we're still building up our armies. I don't know why I want this guy to land. To be honest, I'm not having much trouble with Spain, but it would be useful to knock them out. But then again, it would also be handy to have them land and hit Brussels and have a bit more of a coherent front line against Austria. Let's hit N10. Anyone we've not moved is going to be on the march. There you go, those guys are heading to the south. So. I mean, I could land that army. Well, I, I doubt I could get there, actually. It wouldn't be able to get through into Gibraltar. Into the Mediterranean, rather. But I could, I could have landed them in Italy open up another flank against the Austrians. Yeah. Ooh, Leonard, Belcher, no, because Prague doesn't have defences. I don't want to... I don't want to trigger a battle when it's just open ground. <laughs> you suddenly realise that's a religious building. No technology here. All we've got is books and wine. Okay, here we go. These, this is the Ottomans we know and love. God, it looks like every, every troop they had sat around Ankara is now on the way. So... Baghdad, you need to replenish like a mother. Okay, so they're going to siege Courland. Or they're going to assault Courland, and that's not going to go super well for them. Because they've mostly got lots of weak infantry. This first army is mostly cavalry. Let's do it. Let's knock them back. I don't think it's... well, it won't go well for them, but uh, if we've got a breach, that might be slightly different. Maybe we do have a breach, maybe that's why the AI does these things, because they can tell uh, when you do or don't have a repaired perimeter wall. I don't know, it can sometimes feel like a bit uh, potluck. It's been a while since we attacked Corland, so if we don't... <laughs> if it's not repaired, then I would really wonder why. Yeah, there we go. So, facing the wrong way. So, let's deploy some of my infantry on the walls. They do have a way to make, they do have a way to attack, to make their own breach. To be honest, if you guys aren't going to move, just stay hunkered down like that. So let's build. See, this is something we can do. Put down cavalry barriers. Cavalry barriers. Which means it means we have precious. Oh, you could put down a mine. There we go. 
don't really know where to put you. Yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of wall to cover if they decide not to go for the breach. Heavy horse howitzers. Let's put one like here. One like here. The idea being this one can deluge the breach here if needs be. So actually move the general out of the way. Set these guys to not fire at will. Actually, eh. Get my chasseur up yet up on this section of the wall. They can man guns and they can also fire into this corner here. So that's where the, the original attack came from. And this is where the enemy reinforcements are coming in. Just get these guys firing canister shot. No one got some. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, that's Union Provincial Cavalry annihilated. Got a lot of cavalry coming in, and it's not going to go well for them. Got my light foot up here. Guard mode on. Okay, so these guys on the wall are a bit superfluous. Let's set this how the this how it's unit to do what they were placed there to do. Keep filling the breach with quick climb. Oh no. The fourth Lancer Guard. They're there thinking this is perfect. A breach and a line of artillery. We can charge that easy. We can get loads of kills, mate. Watch this. Then they walk around the corner and. Oh no! A mine! Or not. Kaboom! And they can't charge anyone! So those guys are going to get picked apart by this regiment of foot, which is great. Oh, it's a heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry unit. You poor devils. Some of you might make it around the defence, but... Oh, yes. Second Lancer Guard are coming in for more. In they come. Nope, they've had enough as well. Try to take the officer off at least. No. Good. So these men are getting plucked apart as they try and walk around the wall. Oh yes, please. Charging cavalry. Charging. Not charging. Not charging. So when they're charging, they draw their swords like this. Like they've, they're quite clearly going to run in and attack someone, but you don't know who. It's 26th Regiment. They've. Vast Gorta Dal. Oh. oh god. Oh damn. That wasn't necessary. Good. My light infantry up on the walls here, so that gives them an, a very commanding view. 
of what's happening. More Lancer Guards. They've already lost nearly half their number. Now they've lost half of what they had left. Ah, no, you guys, don't go... Don't go down into the breach, you silly billies. That's where all the death is. Provincial Cavalry. In they come. Oh, yes. So much death. Some of these men are probably going to route before they even get to the the breach. To be honest, I'm just having a great time watching all the cavalry get get killed. Heavy cavalry now. Poor devils. Those guys are those units are bugged, I think. But there's so many cavalry trying to rout, they can't even get in. See, the morale is better, so they stick around for longer, which means more of them will die. Those men try and charge the artillery themselves. Poor, poor devils. Oh, here comes more! Charging straight forward into the guns. Some of them may make it towards the artillery, but not enough. And the thing is, most of them have died on the way out. The ones that have made it across the defence will die on the way back. Except for that guy. Silly light infantry. You guys hit the guard engineers because you don't have any orders. But yeah, that is a lot of dead cavalry. Oh, some of the. Some more cavalry is coming in. Oh, there's hussars. More hussars. Horse grenadier guards have dismounted. That's a smart decision from the AI. There's only two men left. Try down them both. Bad luck. There we go. We hit the engineers with some quick climb, and that's caused them to move. So no deploying my men like this isn't really efficient. But what it what I want it to do is they'll. Both these units will keep firing fire by rank if the enemy infantry get into here. And when you fire by rank, their morale kind of steps down with every volley. So the idea is maybe two smaller volleys going out at different times might be better than three bigger ones. Maybe. These guys have just gone, nope. We're not going in there. No siree. Oh, here comes the Hussars, the Ninth Light Hussars. And the second, oh, the, it's the Ninth Light Horse and the Second Light Horse. They're, the, <laughs> they're, they're programming going, this isn't the good thing to do, surely. Now they're going, well, it's the only thing we can do. Don't worry, you missed the quick climb. I'm sure that's the worst thing that's going to happen. Nope. They might even come back. So the engineers are routed, so let's pick another unit for my other howitzer unit to focus on. Now you guys open up on the light infantry, they're yours. Have at them. Go 
Good stuff. Excellent hit on that infantry. That expat infantry went down to full strength to 55 men. So much death. Okay, I might actually set these guys to round shot and attack the 14th regiment. They're not entirely needed to drop quick climb on here because they're massing right where I want them to mass. You're going to try and get in. He's supposed to man the walls properly. I hear charging. The second low horse are coming back. They're all making way so the cavalry can get in. Oh, so beautiful. Here they come, trotting over the bodies of their fall fallen comrades. Oh, that's a lot of dead men right away. Nope, that's enough of that. So our guard artillery should do some good work against those horse artillerymen. Probably even stand to have this guy that's dropping quick climb to actually drop quick climb on other units. You know, if they make a breach here, that's not the end of the world because they'll still have to pour in and run through the cavalry defences. Too bad they aren't all. Okay, they are all firing. They're just firing at different times. Horses waiting for their masters. More artillery. And speed up time, because if, if we're just going to be waiting, watching them figure out what they're going to do. Good, they knocked out ooh, two of their guns. But yeah, if the AI is just going to sit around and wander around outside, then I'm more than happy to speed up time because it would be a waste of your guys' time, really, if I just sat here going, ooh, what are they going to do? It's a great hit on the 66th Regiment. I've seen them all. It looks like they're going to end up Soon they're just going to be hunkering down. Go on, make the 14th route. Ooh. We have some actual infantry pushing in through the centre. I mean, now they can just fire by rank. Artillery's routed over on over there. So just keep aiming it. Just, I mean, aiming at a, use a unit of fusiliers that's eight strong seems a bit redundant, but I mean, honestly, now they're on to attacking us with like fragments of armies rather than actual units it's all I can really do I want to watch this see how this militia gets on oh they're not going to get on that's what's going to happen um 
Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is probably chop the recording until the AI does actually does something, because right now they're just kind of wandering around. I might see if this general goes in. No, it's the second time he's attempted it and fled. Yeah, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when the AI actually does something. So see you in a second, everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you guys back right at the end, because the AI didn't do anything. So instead, what's going to happen is I've just brought my cavalry out to engage the remnants on the field. Horse Grenadier Guards. Blam! There we go. Kill that artillery crewman. Damn right, it was decisive. We didn't lose many men at all because they never, they never tried to assault the walls. And they never really got much artillery on us. Yeah, we lost seventy-three men. And they lost two thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. I mean, obviously. So this explains why my, why the leveling up of the horse of howitzers can be very, very, very slow when you use quicklime. Is that even though the kills they got are the kills from the shell impact, the actual cloud of stuff they make does not count. So they do gain experience using quicklime, it's just not as fast. But there we go, that's repelled some troops there. And no, I don't want to intercept with my army outside the walls. Do I want to intercept the army inside Berlin? Yes, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of another Swedish force in Europe. Cheers everyone.